All right, friends. There is a, I don't know, I would say like 5% chance that this is actually gonna be the start of a labor vlog. Um, it's Thursday, uh, September 1st. I am 38 weeks and six days pregnant today. I'm about to go to an OB appointment um, and I'm gonna have her check my cervix for the first time. Um, and that was my plan this whole time was like 39 weeks have them check, see where I'm at, whatever. But yesterday at work and then now this morning, well, yesterday at work, I like started having these like really, I had like one or two like fairly intense contractions and I'm not sure like, like it wasn't, they weren't necessarily, they were way more painful than like the Braxton Hicks ones I've been having. I've been having Braxton Hicks contractions for a while. They are like, just make my whole abdomen hard. They're not like, super duper uncomfortable unless i'm like walking kind of when they're happening but they calm down pretty quickly whatever um and then just after that happened i just noticed my stomach hardening a little more consistently than it had been happening and then this morning i got up did my normal routine took a shower and after my shower, I was having like super, super rough, like lower ab cramps, like, like about to start my period. And I can only explain it as like the first period I had after my IUD, like it was pretty, it was pretty intense. Um, and yeah, and then also TMI, but I have pooped like three times today already. And I know that that can be a sign that labor is like starting because your body's trying to like clear out a system. But anyway, I'm going to the OB. I am, need to leave like now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go and get my cervix checked and just tell her how I've been feeling. And we shall see what she says. This might not be the start of anything. This might just be a little clip before the actual start of labor. I don't really know. Hi friends, yes, I am aware that I'm in my sports bra. This is kind of just how we've been all day. That's a lie, we have not been like this all day because I actually filmed and edited uh, my decorating for fall video. But it is the same day as before that you guys saw. Um, and I think that I lost my mucus plug. Um, if you don't know what a mucus plug is, Google it. It's something that holds everything kind of in when you're pregnant. It helps prevent infection and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm definitely 99% sure that I lost my mucus plug. So yeah, and I have been consistently having contractions, cramping kind of throughout the day, every like five to seven minutes, sometimes four minutes, sometimes but they're not lasting super long and they up until like recently they haven't been super super uncomfortable so it's like 5 15 now alex gets done with work at 5 30 so when he comes home um we'll see how i'm feeling eat some dinner and then i'm probably gonna call the doctor just to see what they want me to do like my biggest fear and i think it partially is because i work there is like i don't want to go in and then get checked and not be in like active labor. I don't feel like I'm in active labor right now. Like I can talk through, easily talk through my contractions. I am not in excruciating pain, but I also don't wanna like, I don't know, stuff's happening for sure. For sure stuff is happening in the next, like if, if the baby does not come in the next like two days, I will be shocked. Like if I don't end up in the hospital in the next two days, I will be very shocked. But anyway, um, I <laughs> am just waiting for Alex to get home. So that's where things are at right now. And I will update you if there's, once there's something to update. Hello friends. It is 8.45, Alex is home. We are watching Avatar right now. Um, I have still been consistently having contractions. I called um apparently it's very busy right now so she kind of was like you could come in 
you could give it a few hours, see how it's going. So I decided to sit at home. But it's definitely becoming more uncomfortable, that's for sure. So I think we'll probably, I don't know, I'm so torn because I feel like they're not super crazy bad. Like I'm, but also I don't wanna like, I don't know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like minimize the pain that I am in and just like blow it off because it's painful, but it's not, it's not what I thought, I don't know. I don't know, so weird. But anyway, we're gonna call the doctor back in like 45 minutes and see where things are at and see if things are better there. I just don't wanna go there and get checked and then not be progressing at all and get sent home. But like, I've been contracting all day. Some things probably happened. I don't know. At this point, I also don't think I could sleep with the contractions that I'm having. So yeah, we'll see. Hi friends. So it is the next day. It's Friday. Um, it's probably like 11 o'clock now at this point. Um, obviously we're not at the hospital. We did go to triage, which you saw. Um, and my contractions kind of stayed the same. They maybe intensified like a little bit, but, um, they checked me. I was still a three, waited two hours, checked me again. I was just like three and a half. So we decided to just come home for the night to try to get some sleep. And now we're here. Um, Alex was able to sleep. I've probably only gotten like three hours total um, in between contractions, cause that's still going on. Um, they've spaced out a little bit and aren't quite as long but they're way more intense so I don't really know what's going on um but that's kind of an update for now so we'll see where things are and I'll let you know if anything else exciting happens but we're officially 39 weeks so that's exciting um but yeah we'll see what happens significantly worse contractions so updates to come This is quite the angle. Um, we are obviously in our hospital room. Um, I have an epidural in. It's amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. And I got a peanut butter between my legs. And life is good right now. It's about 8 o'clock. I think we got up here at like 5.30. But just trying to rest and wait and see. So that's it for now hi friends we are still laying down we are still i did switch positions a few times it's almost 11 o'clock um they checked me at nine and i was six centimeters so that's exciting um that's all for now alex is eating a popsicle he had some breakfast Anything you want to say? Epidurals are great. True that. Epidurals are the best thing ever because I don't think I would be 
I would not be the same person right now if I did not have them at all. They're great. No, I definitely don't think I'd be as far along. Anyway, I'll update you whenever something else exciting happens. How many smiles does it take to be happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone? Yeah, you're gonna go back and have a lot of pressure. Yep, and you gotta give it everything. Deep breath. Yeah, you got this. I guess soldier breath. Can you about heartbreak? How to go when you're fed up with mistakes? Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers in you. I really didn't think I was gonna cry. Okay, now it's going away because I'm crying. Oh my god. Okay. I want you to know we can make it together. Let the wind blow. All we need is each other. Oh my god. Like it's hard to tell. I might have like the tiny okay bit of a start of a bump. It's kind of hard to tell. We can do what we want to. Just give a little bit of your heart. Give a little bit of your heart to me. Here's your baby. All we have a girl! Just give a little bit of your heart. Hi, give a little bit of your heart to me. Yeah, here you go. Hi, Lily. 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 Hi, Lily.